Hey, what's up guys, Vasilis here and welcome back to my new episode guys and as you can see right now I'm locating the same in an old part of Dubai called Terra guys so today I'm still continue exploring the hidden spots, hidden gems of all part of Dubai and today a friend of mine, her name is Agi, gonna show me around and we're gonna visit one of the Ugandan cuisine restaurant, another one. So guys, if you missed actually the first part of my Ugandan food experience, you can check over here and the link is uh, in this corner. All right, so guys, I'm gonna meet my friend right now and we're gonna show you the second part of Ugandan cuisine in Dubai, Terra guys. Hey guys, I got my friend over here, Agi. How are you doing? Good. All good. How are you? So you're ready to show me some uh, Ugandan yeah, cuisine? cuisine? Yeah. All right. So what's the place? The name, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the place. <laughs> All right. So guys, stay here, stay tuned. We're gonna show you around. Agi, what's the difference between the restaurants we're going to? So basically, the one that we went to the first time, it's uh, known for Luombo. Okay. So the one that we're going to right now is like a normal restaurant that you can just go and have like some food or okay. snacks and like you know some Ugandan cuisine but not like the traditional one. Okay. And? Yeah, and like it's not the traditional food so if you want to just have like normal food, Ugandan food, you can just go to this restaurant. The second restaurant that we're gonna visit today is located not far from Banias metro station. Yeah. So we, you just need to follow to Sabha site, you can just google it, where is it, so yeah. So guys, actually we are here already. A restaurant called Marian African Restaurant. It's exactly near to Sabha bus station. Also guys, what I noticed here at Mariano restaurant that is like uh, the staff is mixed actually. It's uh, a couple of people from Uganda actually and a couple of them from India. But, and also guys, the Indian staff can speak local language of Uganda called Luganda. So guys, basically this one is the chopped chapati. Over here on the plate I have uh, mash matoke, mash matoke, uh, kosha. Yeah. So guys, actually I'm not that uh, expert in Ugandan uh, cuisine actually, but I'm still learning. So my friend Agi, she will explain you a little bit what we got on our tables. Okay, so like right now what we have, we have the chapati, chopped chapati. So this one is uh, very tasty with the beans. Okay, so it's called... Uh, it's called... <laughs> Chikomando. Chikomando. It's alright, it's alright, continue. It's, it's okay. called Chikomando in the local language, you know? So like a lot of people back home, uh, they love to eat this in street food. And then we have here the Gina Press, which is mixed with the beef. This is uh, most of the, like it's most uh, favorite of many people, many Ugandan people. Then we have here the mixed food. So usually we eat the stew with the mixed food. So you can see here we have kosha, which we call it kaunga. Kaunga. Yeah, kaunga. <laughs> Kosha called kaunga in local language. Oh, ugali. Ugali is in Ugali Kenya. in Kenya, in Swahili, basically. Yeah. And then we have here yeah, the sweet potato, and then we have the mash matoke. This is called matoke, the yellow one. And then we, alongside this, we have the vegetables like the uh, cabbage. What is basically ginuts? Ginuts is like peanut paste, with, which is like uh, cooked like a stew, and they put the beef inside. Yeah, to make it more tasty. You can actually mix it with different things like with fish or you can mix it with vegetables. It depends on what you like it, uh, the taste you like. Okay, and also we got some uh, juices, right? Yeah, passion juice. So basically the passion, passion fruit yeah, passion fruit juice uh, called Putunda. And yes, you can add something. Yeah, yeah, passion juice is actually the most favorite of the Ugandan people. They love to eat food with the passion juice because it's more refreshing. So guys, basically healthy food around, you know, but yeah, today I'm gonna try for the first time, actually this one, uh, Gina's beef, yeah? Yeah, Gina's yeah. beef. Pest. Gina Pest beef. Yeah. So guys, basically let's get started with Matoke. So shall I, shall I dip it somewhere? Yeah. 
Same like before, matoki tastes for me like a mashed potato. But it's totally different plant. A totally different plant and I believe it grows only in Uganda, Kenya, basically in that region of Africa. I got on my plate over here this white, look like orish substance, but it called ugali guys. It's a maize floor, basically called corn floor, yeah? Or maize, yeah, maize flour. So, and you're supposed to eat it with your hands, so you basically take the piece out, crumble a little bit, make it like a small uh, bowl, and then you can just dip it in the sauce, or grab also like a piece of meat, and place it in your mouth and enjoy it. Also guys, here I got a big piece of beef from my Jinat's dish. I'm gonna taste it right now. Actually guys, taste is very nice. The beef is very soft, very tender. Tastes similar to Ukrainian cuisine actually. The sauce uh, based on based on grinded peanuts. So, and after you bring the peanuts, you just boil them until the peanuts will produce this peanut oil. That's why this sauce looks very thick and creamy a little bit, you know? And combination of the sauce and still beef makes this dish special. And it's from Uganda, guys. Guys, what is unique about this cuisine that is... Uh, some part of Kenyans also consume this part, like this kind of food, especially Ugali, Matoke, but not, of course, not the whole Kenya as a country consume the same ingredients that Ugandans do. So, but there is really uh, lots of similarities about the food, about the traditions, and right now I'm enjoying my Ugandan experience. And actually, guys, uh, Angi helping me out to understand more about the food actually I'm literally I'm full I tried I ate actually all the beef I tried some uh, matokes I tried some ugali but honestly I cannot finish all but what she said that I should finish the matoke at least because matoke is the luxurious part of Ugandan cuisine actually so I will force myself to, to finish it but I can guys I'm really full specific thing about the cuisine there is, there is lots of uh, ingredients that will fulfill you very fast. So, it's, right? It will fulfill you very fast. You won't be wanting to eat for such a long time. So, this is the pros, pros and cons of the Ugandan cuisine, guys. You guys, we just finished our food and I started speaking uh, local Ugandan language. You can check this out. Luganda, Butunda, Luganda. Patanga. So guys, mobile to everyone. We got our bill and the bill actually is not that expensive. This place is very affordable to any type of wallets. So the total bill is 59 dirham guys. Oh my god, it's very cheap. It's very cheap to experience Ugandan cuisine in Dubai guys. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you enjoyed watching my video today about Ugandan cuisine part 2. So guys, Please click subscribe button, leave a comment down below under this video. Let me in the comments what you want to see next, what cuisine you want to experience in Dubai, guys. Vasily was here and see you guys in the next episode. Ciao! It's recording? Yeah. Vasily is here and welcome back to my... One second. <laughs> The blooper, <laughs> bloopers, bloopers. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Vasily is here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm getting